Hey guys, welcome to Tech Locker. So with the One UI 2.0 update, we get a plethora of new design elements, new functionality, new edge lighting effects, along with a more functional overall experience. For example, within the Messages app, we now have an unread count, giving you more information at a glance. Now we also have new Android 10 based gestures like swiping to go back, diagonal swipe up to bring up Google Assistant, which I find quite useful and a lot better than Bixby. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can agree with that. There's literally also barely any lag, even though it's a beta. Also, the new most recent gesture is a swipe up and hold, which I find familiar coming from an iPhone. Dark mode is now enhanced. Now, if you like the look or just potentially want better battery life, there's a setting within developer options that basically forces all apps to go into a dark mode state. If you scroll towards the bottom right under hardware accelerated rendering, just go ahead and toggle that switch on and it should take care of the rest. Now apps like Nike sneakers app looks super clean in my opinion, just overall gives you a nice experience if you like rocking a dark theme. And I mean every single app gets a dark theme, no exceptions. Again, you can try this, but it's a big buggy at its current state. Now jumping over to the camera, a lot has changed in terms of decluttering. As you can see, there's now fewer modes that you can jump through, but we get a more tab that hides the remaining functions as opposed to the older UI that gave you all the modes and you could just scroll through all of them. Also, it's cool to see the new gestures work through the entire UI. We get some set views like ultra wide two times all the way up to 10 times, but they seem a bit buggy sometimes. So just be aware of that. We also get a new feature called focus mode. You can find it living under settings and digital well-being. You can set profiles like work time, me time, etc. Now within the profile, you can add apps that you would need or still use, for example, for work. Maybe you still need a calculator, maybe some finance apps or mailing apps. Once selected, hit done and you're greeted with a new screen that gives you an overview. Now, if we jump home, we're going to be greeted with a whole bunch of unusable apps. Those will be in gray and apps you selected would have stayed the same. Now, if you try clicking on one of those apps, you'll get a message displaying stay focused with a brief memo. Now, any app that you did not select will display this message besides the phone app, along with a few others. To end focus mode, you can just jump back into digital well-being, select the profile and end focus mode. I think that's a fairly neat feature. Now, throughout the UI or when using your phone, Samsung has made it to where notifications are less obstructive, like when watching a dope ass video, you don't wanna get interrupted. So a lot of the notifications have been downscaled in terms of aggressiveness or attention grabbing. If you go ahead and receive a call when watching video, the message is now smaller and consumes less of the screen. I honestly think Samsung is starting to really nail it with this new update. Now we also get one handed mode and personally, I really don't tend to use it a lot, but if you wanna activate it, you can just swipe down from the center and it should activate. It works at times and at times it doesn't, but nonetheless, it's there. If you are left-handed, you can go ahead and switch it over to left-handed or right-handed. You can do that as well. To exit out, just go ahead and tap outside that display screen and it should be back to normal. Finally, device care under settings has been refined and has gotten some additions like the ability to set limits of when to stop using PowerShare. And in my opinion, it displays information a lot better. Now it also looks way cleaner in my opinion. You can find a lot of the old stuff here, like how much storage you used up, how much RAM you're using. If you go ahead and hit that fix now button, it kind of just runs some sort of system cleanse. Anyways, that's been it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that sub button. Also hit that like button as it does help out the channel. Thanks a lot for watching guys. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.